What's going on everybody, Gem Mint here back again with another XM Studios prototype review. This time we have the quarter scale Rhino from their Spider-Man villain line. Before we jump into this, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Now since this is a prototype, it doesn't have a traditional box, I didn't do an unboxing and I didn't do an assembly because really this is just three pieces. It's literally the base, Rhino himself, and this tire right here, although that might change in the production, but that's what it is for the prototype. And before we jump into it, I just gotta say that this is not licensed for the United States. They only have a license for Southeast Asia and some countries there. If you check XM's website, which I'll put the link in the description, it'll tell you what countries it's available in. And I'm gonna kinda take a little page from my man Mr. X's book here, and I'm gonna break this review down into categories. First, let's go with the concept. Absolutely love the concept. I can't see you do anything else with Rhino. It's telling a story. He's trampling an NYC cab. And I love the homage to Amazing Spider-Man 41, his first appearance for the license plate. And it's showing his strength. It's showing how powerful he is and how he's able to flip this car, trample it, and basically bend it like paper mache. I think the concept is great. It's got the concrete that's all broken up. It's got pipes and mud underneath. And you have Rhino lunging forward like he should. So I think for the concept, it's spot on for Rhino. And I think it does a great job telling that story. Now let's get into the sculpt. And first thing we'll do is take some measurements. So from the base to the tallest point, which looks to be his elbow, he stands just shy of 20 inches tall. The width is about 17 inches. And the depth, if you're counting his hand, it's about 18 inches. So a pretty blocky piece of real estate will be needed to display this guy, although the footprint of the base is a little bit smaller. His arm stretched out, him lunging forward will make him stand out. So if you have an enclosed case, that might be an issue. But as far as the sculpt, let's start with the bottom of the base. I think they did a great job showing movement, showing the pieces of concrete breaking apart in these kind of plates. You have great texturing on the top there. And underneath, you can see the, the more soft ground, the more mud look to it, and it has pipes and things underneath so that you could tell this was part of a city block. On top of that, that flipped over NYC cab, I think the sculpt on that looks great. The way that they bent the fender and, and the side panels of this car, almost making it look like it's the material that a real car would be made of and not cold cast porcelain, not polystone. Same with the tires. The rubber tires are sculpted great. They have tread on them. They have the details of the hubcaps and just the destruction and damage they were able to incorporate in the inner workings of the car, I think uh, deserves some credit. Lastly, you have Rhino. Absolutely love the design choice where they kind of put like these panels of armor on him. If you see on his forearm, on his shoulder, you have like these plates on his fist. And I think that looks really cool. It gives you like this armored vibe to him. Uh, and then the rest of him, I mean, the musculature is insane. I mean, looking at his calves, they're absolutely huge. His biceps, the muscles that you can see that aren't covered in those plates uh, have great detail to them. You can see the line work sculpted in the knee and the pectorals, the veins from his neck. And let's talk about the portrait. So just like his costume has, you can see the rhino eyes above on the mask. You have that sculpted in horn, looks great. And then the face. First of all, the teeth look great. They're on a whole other level. It looks like enamel. He's got a rage expression on his face. He's got his nose bunched up as he's screaming and lunging forward. I think the sculpt looks really good. And then lastly, let's get into the paint on this. So I know that they reworked the paint on it. I think it was darker initially and based on some feedback from the community, they went in and lightened it up a little bit, which XM has always been great about listening to feedback and making changes based on that. I remember when their first Venom came out and some of the pieces came out with the McFarlane portrait, the mouth was open too much and then they did a whole recall and what have you. So they've always been really good at that. As far as the paint job, I think the bottom of the base, pretty simple. You have the dark concrete, you have the brown mud look, that's fine. I think the yellow on the cab looks great. It's got weathering, it's got damage, it's got shadowing, so that it doesn't look like this was a brand new car off the lot. I mean, it's an NYC cab. It's gotta be the dirtiest, most beat up thing that you could imagine. The tires look good too. They don't look new. They look like they have mud and stuff on the side of them. On the top of the base, you have more of uh, the raw metal. So you have that silver look, but it does have good weathering to it, almost like a rust station going on. 
Again, the tire in his hand, which he's squeezing and it, and it looks like rubber, has dirt on it as well. So that, that looks great. And then I really dig his paint job. I think they did a great job of kind of emulating what a rhino skin would look like. It looks like elephant skin. It's got all those cracks where you have a darker gray and then you have a lighter gray to complement that. I think the paint job on him is spot on. I don't recall how dark it was prior, but I think this one, it's perfect. It's just what it needs to be. And then in the portrait, I think, you know, there's not much flesh that they needed to paint here. You have shadowing in there. It doesn't look flat. It looks realistic. It looks lifelike. So I think overall the paint job, I couldn't see a better paint job for this piece. It's not one that really needs a great paint job. It's a gray character, a yellow cab, and, and some concrete and mud. So how much do you really need? Let me give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Street Level Hero. SLHLA.com has exclusive variants with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday with amazing artwork. You can save 10% off any item in the store anytime you shop there by using the code GEMMINT at checkout. And that goes for their sister site, that's SpidermanBooth.com as well. They have $30 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value. One lucky box is going to include the GP, the giveaway prize, which is a key issue that'll be in each round. Use that same code GEMMINT in to save that same 10% every time you shop there. This guy's gonna have a max edition size of $7.99. It's MTO or made to order. So basically based on pre-orders, they'll determine how many to make. It may end up only having 500, it may have 300. I'm really impressed that they're continuing on their Spider-Man villain line. You guys must know that I had most of those villains back when I was collecting them and then I decided to change my focus. But uh, continuing with that line, $7.99 max ES and it cost about $1,050 if you convert it to USD. Great piece, simplistic. I think it's rare to see XM Studios not give you a bunch of switch outs, a bunch of different portraits, and they went with the less is more, which I think really works with this character. So you could avoid neck seams, you can avoid shoulder seams and things of that nature. Uh, and, and me personally, I'm not really a big switch out guy. I tend to like put all the other pieces I'm not gonna use back in the box. So. Uh, very cool, man. I think that this is a massive piece. It has a lot of presence. I think that it complements any Spider-Man line that you may be collecting. So let me know what you guys think about Rhino in the comments down below. Is it a piece that you're digging? Is it a piece you would add to your Spider-Man collection? Like I said, make sure to hit that subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Every now and then we do get some prototypes in and we can give you that first look. I appreciate you guys watching as always, but don't go anywhere. Check out my other statue unboxing and reviews and stay minty fresh. Peace.